It's Andy Kuhn with FCProducer.com. Thanks for checking out this review for Gen Art's Sapphire Edge plugin for Final Cut Pro. Or I'm going to show you on Final Cut Pro. Gen Arts is a leading provider of visual effects software to the media and advertising industries. The Sapphire Edge is an amazing plugin. It has over 350 plus unique pre built looks generated from 18 effects and transitions. It has 64 bit quality, powered by the Sapphire engine, streamlined and intuitive user interface. And I'm going to show you how it all works. It is absolutely fantastic. I love this. Again, a gr another great package for any kind of editor to make it so quick and easy to use. And here's, here's, we're just gonna get into it, here we go. All right, let's go into the effects tab and go into the video filters. And I'm gonna come down here to the Sapphire filters, Sapphire Edge filters. So I'm gonna grab a film damage look and I'm gonna drop it on the Times Square. And it's over here and you can see it. Let me double click on Times Square, bring it into the viewer, click on filters. And you have your parameters like you always do in every kind of filter that you have. And you can move stuff up, move stuff down, do whatever you want, and create your own. And you can always save it and create your own. But I'm not going to show you how to do that today. This is all about presets. And this is why this plugin rocks. Let me load the presets. And it shows you a preview of what the preset looks like. All right, so we have the default and that's what it looks like. And then you can just go around, start clicking all these presets and you can see automatically what it's gonna look like. And the great thing about that is you don't have to do, I mean, you save so much time doing this instead of actually clicking on it and then looking in the canvas and then going back, no, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. You can actually see it all really well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the tags up here, this is great. So let's say you just wanna Go ahead and say, I want just, I just want something blurry. Boom. You have 32 uh, presets that are blurry, that have some kind of blur. Let's say, all right, I want to do, we'll see, holidays. You have Christmas, Halloween, 4th of July, New Year's. I'm going to go to Halloween. Um, and I'm going to use the Spectacular Stammer. And let's go ahead and load that sucker. Boom. It's loaded. All right. Next. I'm going to grab the film style look, drag and drop, double click. Let's load the preset. I have a big stupid smile on my face. Now the preset, what we're going to do is I'm going to go by moods because the first one we dropped in was Halloween. So I'm going to go ahead and do Mysterious. And I like this one, Ashen Slumber. Now it also tells you the time at night, Mysterious, Scary, Aggressive, Dramatic, Gloomy. All these are going to help you just drag and drop. It makes so much sense. I'm so glad they did it. And let's load that sucker. Boom. That one's loaded. All right. Now we're going to come over here. Let's skip the lens flare for now. Go to the TV damage look. Drop it on Manhattan. Actually, I like that preset just the way it is. Although it doesn't. There we go. Let me double click. Let's load a preset. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go to moods. Mysterious. And um, hmm. I'm going to grab the, hmm. see all these different ones, white noise windmill, I'm going to use that one, let's load, now I want one more, so I'm going to go ahead and hold down the option, move it over, there we go, now I'm going to double click on the Manhattan, bring it in here, get rid of TV damage, and let's bring in the lens flare, drag and drop. And now let's look at the canvas. See that? You have the lens flare, but it does not move. You actually have to animate the, the lens flare. You don't have to. You could leave it there, but it looks stupid if the camera's moving. All right. So let me load a preset. Let's say we like the default, but we don't. You know, there aren't really moods for lens flares. So let me, let's see. You just have different kind of lens flares. I'm just going to do a simple hex. No, let's do a white sun. Load it, and there we are. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that up here, and let's go keyframe it. Let's go to the last frame, and I'm going to move it over just a little bit because the camera moves just a little bit, and let's see how that looks. I like it. All right, the other thing they have they have transitions and the transitions are really cool in this and they show you 
some amazing things that you could do just in the preview. So the first one, we're going to go from Times Square to Brooklyn Bridge. Let me get a dissolve blur, drag and drop. Then the Brooklyn Bridge, we're going to go then to the Manhattan, which has the TV damage. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the TV channel change, drag and drop. Last one's going to be a dissolve lens flare, drag and drop. And let's go ahead and double click on the dissolve blur, load preset. Yes, transitions have presets. And so I'm going to go back into the mood since we're doing all dark and mysterious. So let's go mysterious, downward in distinction. Let's load that sucker. All right. Actually, you know what? Let's go back here. Let's load the preset. Uh, let's go to time. Uh, they don't have any night in there. That's okay. Um, what's hazy passage? Load it. Let's do it. All right. So now for the Brooklyn Bridge, going into that, let's double click, load the preset. And I don't know if you noticed, but the cool thing about it, it shows you a preview of what the preset actually does. So let's go to moods, mysterious. Let's go to marshmallow disturbance. It's awesome. Load it. Boom. Moving on. And the last one, but not least, lens flare. Load. Preset. Now, I forgot the white sun. There we go. White sun. Load. Done. Render all. All right, everything's rendered, and now I'm just going to play and show you what these effects do. Unbelievable. Check it out. <laughs> Also, what comes with the Sapphire Edge, it's amazing. It's called FX Central. It's actually a website with Gen Arts. Uh, and they provide it. And boom, you're there. <laughs> this is great. When you buy Sapphire Edge, you get one year subscription to FX Central. And the great thing about FX Central is they upload monthly new looks. Now, this is all the looks in one place. And you're going, good goobity goo. That's a lot. Now, how do I know what comes with it? That's a good question. Well, here's what comes. Included looks, you go apply, and then they'll be there. So I'm just going to go back to Central. It tells you July FX Central Inaugural Collection. So the first collection, and apply. Now, all these you can download and use in your presets. They give it to you. Fantastic. I love that. So right now, most of these are, tr these are all transitions, which are great. Another good thing is you could t use tags for anything that you're looking for. You're like, I don't have it in my library. I'm just going to look. And over time, this is going to grow. So by the time you're finished with your first year, this is going to have so many more transitions and filters just for you to use. Another cool thing is they have tutorials, which is so helpful because you're going to, you know, any, any questions you have, you can go in here and use it. So that <laughs> Gen Arts knocked this one out of the park. The price for Sapphire Edge is $299, and I think that's a very good price. Final Cut Pro X is $299 or $300. I'd rather get this and stick with Final Cut Pro 7. <laughs> it's just it's a no-brainer for me because Final Cut Pro 7 is so much better right now at this point in time than Final Cut Pro X, especially for all the professionals out in the marketplace. So this is Andy Kuhn with fcproducer.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and you're like, wow. I'm going to put some really cool effects in my next project. See you next time. Later, peeps.